For today's 12 Days of Tutorials, I'm using the most voted for ColourPop palette that you guys picked in November, and that is the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. This palette is a great kind of more inexpensive cool tone palette, and I do recommend it all the time. And I do have a handful of tutorials with this on my channel, so if you want to check out some other looks, I'll link those down below for you. So if you want to see how I got this kind of cool toned gray eye look, go ahead and keep on watching. I went ahead and primed my eye with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and I did set that with the translucent powder. I'm going to start with the fluffy cream brush in the shade you rock and I'm gonna run that throughout my entire crease This shade is showing up really, really light on me. So I am gonna dip back into that color and let's see if I can build this up Okay, we got something. And this shade is very, very cool toned. It's pretty much gray, but it still does have just a tiny bit of brown in it. So I have dipped back into the shadow about three times to build it up to get it to look like this. And like I said, I'm just going back and forth in my crease all the way from my inner crease to my outer crease. Now on that same brush, I'm gonna take bold type and I'm gonna use that to deepen and define the crease a little bit more. The way I'm kind of looking at this palette is in columns. So I started with this shade at You Rock and I went to Bold Type, which is all in this one column. So I think I kind of might stick to that today. I'm picking up a little bit more Bold Type and I'm lightly patting that on the outer part of my lid. I'm still using this fluffy brush to apply this shadow because I still want it to look very diffused and soft. If I was going for more of an intense look today, I would switch to a kind of more of like a packing lid brush, but I do want this look very soft today. Sticking to that same column, I'm gonna pick up sediment to be on my finger and that's gonna go on that inner blank part of my lid I think this is my first time using this shade from the palette, but that is super pretty now I'm just gonna go back to the brush I've been using and do a soft blend around that shimmer in the crease I'm gonna take a small fluffy blending brush in this matte shade Lux, and I'm just gonna use that to soften all the edges of the shadow. Mostly just right here under my brow. I went ahead and did my under eye concealer off camera. Now let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a small firm blending brush and a mixture of the two matte shades that are in my crease, You Rock and Bold Type. And I'm gonna run that across my entire lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a flat definer brush in the shade Colt Classic, and I'm gonna smudge that across the base of my lower lashes. So I kinda just like to wiggle this brush right where my lower lashes are. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that same shade on the outer part of my top lash line. Now I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten, popping that in my inner corner and a little right under my brow. I went ahead and applied my mascara and lashes, and for my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Flutter. In case you don't know, the Bright Lashes is my lash brand, and Flutter is my number one best-selling lash. It is just a perfect half lash, in my opinion. And here's a final close-up of this eye look. 
Here is what the full face looks like. Don't ask me what is on my lips because I had to layer like three or four different products just to get something I felt happy with. I am so, so fair today and when I'm extra pale, I just have such a hard time finding shades that work for me for my lips and for my blush. So this is what I got today. I'm still not obsessed with it, but I do love how these eyes turned out. I know that so many of you guys love a good cool toned eyeshadow look. So I'm kind of glad that I got to do this kind of gray toned look today with the Stone Cold Fox palette. We are about halfway through my 12 days of tutorials so far so I really hope you're enjoying it. I'm having so much fun digging up these older palettes in my collection so I hope that you are doing the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.